are times in all of our lives when we take a massive step forward. The evolution of any business is just the same, and Edwards, the world-leading vacuum technology company, has done exactly that, and in one big step has transformed its operations and its supply chain. Operational efficiency and engineering excellence is a vital part of Edwards' success story, and we've just invested over $160 million in two new state-of-the-art manufacturing centers in Korea and the Czech Republic, giving us a completely new basis for manufacturing our products. Over the last three years, we've concentrated our manufacturing sites around the world into half the number of locations, but at the same time reorganized our remanufacturing and service capability to serve our customers better everywhere around the globe, and with substantially greater coverage than any of our competitors. Edwards began as a business over 90 years ago, and since that time we've shown the ability to change, grow, and most importantly, to succeed. From a UK-based business with UK and US manufacturing operations, we're now a truly global organization, and one with growing strength in the emerging economies of the world. We now have five manufacturing plants. In the UK, at Clevedon, we build world-leading abatement equipment that helps customers manage the environmental risks of hazardous materials used in the electronics industry. At Eastbourne in the UK, we manufacture in-house tailored and proprietary electronic control systems specific to Edwards equipment and which help provide high efficiency energy management systems. In Yachio, in Japan, we manufacture magnetically levitated turbo pumps, which are maintenance and corrosion free, and as a result are widely used in harsh manufacturing environments such as the semiconductor industry. But our volume vacuum pump manufacturing is now built around our two new state-of-the-art production centers at Lutin in the Czech Republic and Chunan in South Korea. Our operational footprint is, however, much broader than that. We now have five sites dedicated to building complex integrated systems. Chunan in Korea, Lutin in the Czech Republic, Grand Island in the US, Sao Paulo in Brazil, and Shanghai in China, all putting together bespoke vacuum and abatement solutions for customers. And then there's a global network of 15 regional remanufacturing centers which clean and repair customers' products to an as-new standard. Recycling and remanufacturing not only offer customers huge cost benefits, but offer major environmental benefits as well. We now remanufacture over 40,000 pumps a year, a significant part of Edwards' overall business. Our latest sites are all in the world's fastest growing regions, in Taiwan, in northern China in Beijing, and shortly in southern China in Shenzhen. But our two new world-class production centers in Czech and South Korea are undoubtedly our most significant global investments. We've made these two moves for a number of reasons. Part of the story is that we're now able to rely on a high quality supply chain for key components in each region. But the most important is to move closer to our customers in Central Europe and in Asia, positioning ourselves closer to our key markets. In the near future, around 75% of semiconductor and 100% of flat panel investment will be in Asia. Edwards has been present in Asia for more than 40 years, and nearly 60% of our revenues come from customers located there. So it makes absolute sense that we should be manufacturing at this level in these regions. The first of our new plants is at Lutin in the Czech Republic, where we've invested nearly $60 million in our first volume pump manufacturing facility in mainland Europe. It will deliver high-quality vacuum pumps and systems for the most demanding of processes in the industrial, pharmaceutical, chemical and scientific markets. 
The 20,000 square meter site is the new global center for manufacturing the company's range of vacuum pumps that are used across a variety of applications, from steel manufacturing to MRI scanners. It includes the latest manufacturing equipment, together with lean manufacturing techniques to reduce production times. The new facility will enable manufacturing closer to Edwards customers in Central Europe, improve response times and allow us to raise the bar in sustainable manufacturing, product quality and performance. With approximately 200,000 pumps installed throughout Europe, we will continue to enable our customers to reduce their costs, reduce their carbon footprint and help them become even more competitive in today's global markets. Existing products for General Vacuum will be manufactured there, including the new NEXT turbo molecular pump critical for electron microscopy and mass spectrometry, and the GXS dry pump, which delivers exceptional vacuum performance in harsh industrial processes. And a new generation of products will also be built there, including the new exciting CXS dry vacuum pump for chemical and pharmaceutical processes to be launched later this year. 5,000 miles away in Korea, Edwards has also just opened its new state-of-the-art manufacturing centre to serve both Korean and global semiconductor customers. Here, Edwards has invested over $100 million in advanced manufacturing and assembly. But it's also a centre of technological excellence, allowing local and technical customer support as well as the development of product improvements and rapid introduction of new products. The new facility will be an important hub for the company's growing range of high-quality dry vacuum pumps and systems for the most demanding of processes in the semiconductor, LCD, solar, LED and flat panel display markets. It also boasts the latest manufacturing equipment to assure product quality and lean manufacturing techniques to reduce production times. So both these new facilities are enabling us to manufacture closer to our customers, improve our overall service and response times, provide specialist local application support and enhance product quality. In both cases too, these moves bring significant environmental advantages. The reduction in product transportation and shipping is clear but the buildings themselves have a range of sophisticated energy-saving features, including solar panels, LED lighting, high insulation levels and reflective windows, all of which ensure we operate with as low a CO2 impact as possible and reducing our use of carbon, waste and water. Part of Edwards' history is a history of engineering and technological excellence. Many of Edwards' products are built to operate at significantly higher frequencies and speeds than high-tech aircraft engines. Pumps' rotational speeds are getting higher, with turbo pumps operating up to 90,000 RPM, four times the speed of a Formula One engine and several times faster than an aero engine. These high rotational pump speeds enable pumps to become smaller and operate more efficiently. But to enable these speeds, we need greater and greater levels of precision in their manufacture. Both of these new sites include high precision machining operations with tolerances as small as 10 micron. That's one eighth the width of a human hair and the same as a human blood cell. These extraordinary standards are achieved through the use of air conditioned temperature controlled areas for machining as tolerances are affected by the slightest increase or decrease in temperature. And we measure these standards all the time. We have measuring capability to plus or minus two micron, ensuring increased uniformity and the replication of the highest quality of product for our customers. The next generation of pumps will be super high performance. Super clean, super efficient and super robust and more and more tailored to a particular use. And to achieve this, our next generation of world-class manufacturing sites are absolutely key. 
they're a major move towards serving our customers better and the next big step towards ensuring Edwards' continued leadership in the global vacuum market.